You guys, I'm so excited to share this video with you. Today I am bringing you the Urban Outfitters inspired quilted vest. I recently saw the Urban Outfitters quilted vest on Chelsea's Instagram story, Chelsea from What We Said Podcast, and I thought it would be such an easy make. On the Urban Outfitters website, it's listed for 120 something dollars. It's currently half off, which is really good, but it's like, dang, that's a lot. Like I'm, I'm not willing to spend that much on something I could totally make. And I did make it. <laughs> so I'm gonna st take you guys through a step-by-step tutorial on how to make your very own quilted vest. I also am going to include a free pattern. That's right, a free pattern for you guys to download instantly and use for yourself. It only comes in one size, which is the size I'm wearing. It's kind of loose, so I think it could fit, or I think it could work for a lot of sizes below and above me. Um, but obviously you can make your own alterations to it as well. Again, the pattern is completely free and it's going to be linked down below for you guys to download. I used all scrap materials. I made this quilted vest completely free rather than spending like $120 at Urban Outfitters. And honestly, I like my version a lot better. <laughs> So yeah, the vest was completely free for me. I think a lot of you guys could do the same thing. It was just made out of scraps I had. The only thing that maybe not every sewer has is batting or buttons. I also use buttons that I previously owned and they match so well. I don't think I have anything else for you guys before I just jump into this tutorial. So I'll see you at the end. Okay, my first step was cutting all my squares. Mine were four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And I use 67 squares. I sewed all the squares together off camera and the back piece was six squares wide by five squares tall and both the front pieces were three squares wide by five squares tall and then the neck piece which i do later is seven squares long from my lining i cut the back piece front pieces and four pockets after cutting all the pieces i started pinning them to my batting and cutting just one layer of the batting per piece um, and for the neckline piece or a two inch wide strip for the length of the neckline piece. I pinned the shoulder seams together and sewed those. I also pinned and sewed the lining shoulder seams. I pinned each pocket piece an uh, inch from the bottom of each fashion fabric piece and sewed the whole side seams. I pinned the lining armhole and the fashion fabric armholes together and did one at a time. I pinned the center front lining and fashion fabric pieces together and sewed those together both sides. I then pulled the bottom of the bodice through the neckline opening, pinned the fashion fabric and the lining together and sewed the whole bottom of the vest. Here I have pinned the armholes so that the lining 
is tucked underneath so you don't see it as much and then I top stitched the whole armhole a quarter inch away from the edge. Starting an inch from the neck I top stitched all around the vest just over an inch at the button band and half an inch around the bottom. So no, the neckline wouldn't be in the way later, I decided to go ahead and do the buttonholes. The first one started an inch from the top of the neckline. And for every other buttonhole, I measured two and an eighth inches down from the top of the first buttonhole to start the next one. I did six buttons, by the way. I didn't show this on camera, but for the neckline piece, I folded it right sides together in half like a hot dog, then added the batting and sewed the side. Well, both sides. And then I pinned it to the neckline, just the fashion fabric, sewed it all the way around. Here I have folded and pinned the lining to the neckline and using the stitch in the ditch method to secure the lining to the neckline and also make sure that the stitches don't show. And then I went ahead and finished top stitching the button band. The vest is basically done now. All that's left is cutting open the buttonholes, attaching the buttons, and then I went around each square with some embroidery thread and tied a little knot in the middle of each square, just like a quilt. Um, which the Urban Outfitters vest has that little touch as well. I did record it, but the video didn't turn out super good. As you can tell, you can hardly see what I'm doing. So sorry about that. You guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you have made the quilted vest, I hope you're enjoying your quilted vest. It's literally so cute, so comfy, and just like, I I'm gonna wear it all the time, all the time. I wasn't super sure at first if I would like it. It wasn't super, I don't know. It didn't seem like it would be my style, so I wasn't super sure. But guys, it turned out so good and it's exactly what I want and it's totally my style. I love my own little twist on it with the plaid. I've literally fallen in love with plaid over the last few months. I've created so many projects with plaid. And so I liked adding that little bit of detail that made it more me. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys really liked this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm uploading new sewing tutorials weekly. I also just started listing my own sewing patterns on my Etsy shop, which you can also find linked down below if you're interested. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for for joining me in this amazing journey and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!